Right, all Liam Phillips, we caught up with him at Manchester BMX 2024 magazine. We just thought we'd have a chat. Liam, have you enjoyed the day's racing? I have. I only got here this afternoon, so I only watched um, the last rack of motos and then obviously the final. And uh, yeah, I think the way that the elite class is at the minute, it's almost you know, whoever puts it together at that one given time, really. So um, good to see Bloomy win, and obviously Curtis has been riding well for the last couple of weeks now, so it's good to see him up there. And, and Cal made a good move in the last turn. Absolutely. Track seems to be going all right for you, judging by your tweets. It's going all right, yeah, it's different, very different as far as, yeah, I mean. Just a general workload throughout the week is, is massive, but um, it's certainly been a culture shock. You know, he's stepping into a, an environment you know, with the best track athletes in the world. So from, from that aspect, you know, it, has, it has been good, and it's been an eye opener for me, really. I mean, I think that um, yeah, I've just learned so much about myself in, in such a short space of time, and potentially you know, back in February, I resented BMX a bit, and you know, the time away and, and you know, the training outside of that has really allowed me to fall back in love with the sport again. Oh, good, good. I can't believe somebody's put a generator on right next to us while we're doing this, but never mind. Um, what was the next question we were going to ask you? I believe you were sick after a session, were you, the other day? <laughs> or were you sick during the session? Yeah, I was I was sick during the session. Um, that, I mean, that's it's not uncommon. Yeah, I mean, it's the first time I've been sick since being on the track, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased that I managed to last so long, to be fair, but... Uh, I guess in a way it just shows you know, that you're pushing your body to the absolute limits day in day out and, and that's something that you know, I've really really enjoyed the fact that I've had five months worth of training and, and haven't had to worry about injuries or anything else, it's been fantastic. Yeah. In terms of your physical conditioning and stuff, do you think you're in better shape than you were when you did BMX? I do, I think that it's different um, you know, in terms of being in race shape and being ready to, to compete at World Cup level, I think that obviously that would take... Um, you know, different needs than, than competing on the track but overall conditioning I would say that potentially in the best shape I've ever been in and um, you know, more than anything just the, the, the foundations that I'm playing now for whether it be a BMX career or a track career you know, it's certainly you know, it's put me in good stead whatever happens I guess Right okay and how much time are you spending in coffee shops? I am spending quite a lot it's <laughs> been uh, <laughs> it, that's certainly been a big change um, I wasn't really a coffee lover and uh I yeah, would, would enjoy a coffee more from a social aspect, but now it seems to be uh, just the way that things happen. I mean, Monday to Friday, sort of, yeah, that that's work hours, and then on Saturday mornings, yeah, it's been good. There's a good group of us that go out and yeah, we we go for a ride and stop off for coffee and, and have yeah, and, yeah. I find it social and and really yeah, not part of my training week. I really do see it as a Monday to Friday and and Saturday mornings being. Um, yeah, sort of the, the icing on cake. Yeah, certain shopping Gatley by any chance? Yeah, Coffee Fix do a, do a, a good coffee, and yeah, they're very bike friendly there, which is always nice. You know, leaving you know, eight bikes outside the front of the shop, and you know, you've got a lot of older people going in there. Usually, the coffee shops wouldn't be too uh, too welcoming, but they're they're really really cool, and yeah, they do do the good coffee. So yeah. It's been good. How's the golf game coming along? The golf game's coming along steady, but I uh, I find that. It's addictive with regards to I me. Mean, I can't. I don't just want to turn up and, and play week on week on week. I actually want to get better, and uh, I find that you know sometimes I have to hold myself back and make sure that I'm getting plenty of rest in between sessions. I mean, I, I try and play just once a week, you know, maximum really, and, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. And that again, that's something you know totally different to bike racing, and, and I found that it's been a good switch off. I enjoy. Yeah, spending time with my friends and hit a few balls and yeah, it's been a good life. Right, okay, well, I think we'll leave it there, Liam, we'll let you get on with it. You're going to be back to watch tomorrow, have you got training on? No, no, I will be back, but uh, again, keeping it to a minimum, I'll, I'll be back probably tomorrow afternoon. Today I was only here for a couple of hours and even then, you know, from, uh, you know, if I was still racing BMX, I think that the rest element, you know, is almost overlooked, yeah. whereas I can't, it can't be overlooked on the track and, you know, I'm sat here now watching, watching the Nationals and, uh, you know, I find myself dragging a seat up to the top of the top of the team area and I uh, sat there with my legs up. It's just yeah, it's been it's been strange, but I'll be back to watch for sure. And then just as we finish the interview they turn the generator off. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> right, thanks for your time, Liam. Appreciate no it. Cheers. Thank thanks. Cheers.